match day four in Group H at the Melbourne Rectangular Stadium, where Melbourne City of Australia and Buriram United of Thailand take centre stage as the battle for the knockout rounds intensifies. The lineup for top of the table Melbourne sees captain Jamie McLaren continue to spearhead the attack after scoring against Buriram last time out. Marin Jackalis and Leo Natal are on the wings. And for Buriram United, Thai forward Super Shy Chai Dad will be looking to fire his team to their first away win of the campaign in a game they really need to win if they're to keep their campaign alive. Goalkeeper Siwarak Ted Song Nong captains the Thai champions. And it's a KG affair in the opening exchanges, but Melbourne have a corner and it's played short to Aziz Behic. And he's done well to create the space and the shot comes in and it's narrowly past the post. It's a great nutmeg from the left back to open up the chance. Into the 21st minute. Harris Vukic has it, it's a powerful run, holding off the defender, gets it onto his left foot, and he just puts that one over. But strong running from the Buriram United winger as they look to hit the home side on the break. To the 28th minute, and it's a nice through ball for Jamie McLaren, and it's blocked by Kim Min Yolk. A powerful recovery run, and he gets there just in time as Jamie McLaren thought he was through. Haven't been many clear-cut chances in the first half, but Melbourne have had the possession. And that pass is a little short from the goalkeeper, Jamie Young, but it's fired into Shubashai. The Aussie keeper can breathe a sigh of relief as his pass lacked a little bit of weight. And the stakes are high and an error might be all it takes to separate these sides as they head into half-time with the scores tied at 0-0. The first real attack of the second half falls to Melbourne. Leo Natal doing well to work some space and releasing the shot. His powerful drive almost sneaking in at the near post. And Bororam having to do most of the defending up until the 63rd minute as Dion Cools can send a deep cross to the back post. It's well volleyed by Thi Raton and with a follow up that's blocked. Melbourne finally able to clear. It was a high cross and it was really well met by Thi Raton. Hits it on the volley first time. Jamie Young doing well to get down to his right quickly. Into the 70th minute. Melbourne being held at arm's length. Another shot comes in. It's almost spilled by the goalkeeper, Suarak. As the shot was sent in from Hamza Saki. Some decent dip on it. Into the 79th minute. And Buriram in a good forward position. There's an overlap. The ball's cut back to Piradol. And it's blocked on the line by Aziz Behic. Melbourne left back coming to the rescue. And still the game hangs in the balance as we enter the tense final phase. And Buriram have weathered that storm and they're growing into the game. And it's good fighting for the ball and it's crossed in. And was there a hand in there? The referee says yes. He points to the spot. Thiraton crosses and it's Aziz Behic there again. And up steps Goran Korzic to send the ball right down the middle. 1-0 to Buriram. Korzic converted a penalty against Zhejiang and it's another one today. And this is a massive goal to bring Buriram right back into contention in Group H as Melbourne were unable to find an equaliser, meaning the game finishes 1-0 to Buriram United as they take revenge and blow Group H wide open. Next up for Melbourne is a trip to Japan to face Vafore Kofu while Buriram United travel to China to play Zhejiang.